Hey, what's up everyone? Rob Rich is back on my video blog for the WBFF World Bodybuilding and Fitness Model Championships in Toronto, September 19th. Now it's just gone the 11 week mark, so things are really starting to heat up now. And I'm outside Gold's Gym in Venice, California, the mecca of bodybuilding and fitness. As you'll see inside, you have the Wall of Fame, all the top guys and girls up on the wall, so great for motivation here. Uh, I'm here to train hamstrings and probably some calves. And although I'm dieting, hitting my cardio high, hitting my abs in the morning, uh, I'm actually stronger than I have been all year, so I don't know whether it's the motivation or just good nutrition and good rest, but something's happening. So as always, you can check out my website, Rob Richards Fitness, for all the updates on my training log, my nutrition, and everything else that's going on. So I'll see you in there. Side note on warming up. Whatever body part you're training, don't waste your time on cardio. Actually warm up the muscle groups with the exercises that you're going to be doing. So I'm doing hamstrings, uh, line hamstring curl, just using a small amount of weight. I'm barely even feeling it. I'm just doing the movement. So 12, 15 reps. The next set, I'm going to take it up again, still in my warm up state. And then pretty much the third and fourth work set, straight into the heavy weight and get the heaviest set done first. Okay. First work set, I'm up to 200 pounds, and it's it's easy. I can't get a good enough good enough muscle fatigue within my 10, 12 rep range. So I'm going to keep it on its maximum weight here. Do a good 12 repetitions that keep it negative, a little bit slower, and then for the final five reps above that 12 rep range, um, I'll just burn them. So just halfway up and down, keeping that pump going. Also, another note when training hamstrings: if you're on a flat bench. Um, elevate my upper portion of my chest up on my elbows which creates tension in my lower back and therefore greater stress on the head itself so if you're really not trying to go as heavy as I am today elbows up those shoulders and chest lifted up high and you get far greater uh, muscle contraction in the back of the hamstring so whew. okay so now on to my first major work set uh, Pulling on the weights here, this is a, a face forward, kind of pivoted front squat. Um, works the quads a little bit, but what I'm doing here is really trying to pick the femoral bicep, the big kind of bicep muscle on the back here, which helps add thickness and round, roundness and width to my whole leg. So this is, if you do the math, it's both the pound plates, 45 plates, four. It's about seven, 760 pounds. Um, Feeling strong, gonna have a good core for this one. You know, if you can't do squats properly and correctly, I wouldn't even attempt this, but you've got a strong core, good technique, great exercise for working on the, uh, the glutes and the remorse bicep back of the hand. So, should be good for maybe 10 reps down here. Never done this way before. This is literally a ton, a ton of weight, nearly a thousand pounds. Um, although I am pivoting it at an angle, so it's not the same as having a thousand pounds on my back and doing the same thing. So don't get that confused, but it's a lot of weight going through my hamstrings. So you can tell I'm kind of revved up now. When you're feeling like this, just go with it, lift heavy, keep good form, and I'm sure you'll smash some of your personal bests. So see what I can do. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. All the way, Rob. We on? Yep. Right, before I start, guys, come on, give me a break. It's California, it's 100 degrees out here. I mean, gold shim in the back. It's allowed, okay? All right, check this one out for legs.
difference between muscle fatigue and muscle failure. Okay, back on the heavy weights now, as if they weren't heavy out there. Um, strapped up for this one, uh, mainly because with the amount of weight that I'm lifting through my lower back and my hamstrings, the stress on my hamstrings, I need that good grip. And you're only as strong as your weakest link. So by holding you know, 290, 310 pounds, my grip isn't gonna be able to hold that. So this is where the straps come in, just to allow me to put more weight through the actual muscle group. So, stiff legged deadlifts, watch my full range of movement on here. I'd like to say perfect form we've seen, but really good technique, strict form, as much weight as you can manage, 12 rep max, whatever exercise I'm doing, 12 rep max. Last step. 